everyone. I like uh, coming down to a spark talk from the full TIFF talk from last year, so this is nice. But I just want to uh, lead into our next awesome TIFF talker. And uh, I'm going to start with a why. If we think about our why and why we got into education, and I reflected on my why, um, it was to serve others, to make an impact, to give back. Uh, you know, think about what a teacher means. Um, along this journey, and uh, I did doing some reflection, I wanted to think about the what if. Well, what if it wasn't really me that was doing all of the teaching, but it was the students that were teaching me along the way. So I'd like to share some examples of uh, my journey and um, maybe in how technology has enabled some of these, I guess, awakenings uh, and ideas. So uh, about a month ago, I put a question out on Twitter saying that I would love if people could uh, reply and finish this sentence, kids these days. I, sometimes when you put something out on the Twitter, it just floats out there and you don't get any hits. This one brought in 191 replies from people. I'm not gonna share all of these with you, but it was pretty inspiring. So kids these days, think about that. Maybe think about what comes to your mind uh, in terms of finishing that sentence or think about people you know and how they would finish that sentence. Uh, but I'm gonna share with you some kids these days that I know and a little bit about what they've taught me. This is uh, Curran D, uh, ch a chief kid officer of Digit Kids. And he taught me that there are a lot of students out there that don't get the same opportunities in school to learn with technology as they do at home. Um, this is Olivia Van Lecce, the Live Bits, and uh, she actually spoke at Lakeshore Central, but this slide kind of captured my attention. Never underestimate the power of a kid's voice. And I'll come back to her in a minute. These were students that I met at the Digit Summit in Toronto from JPCI City, and they showed the power of global collaboration when they collaborated with another group of students in Texas and another educator in Mexico and they were collaborating and trying to figure out how they could improve their communities um, and sharing different projects that they were working on. These are students of Doan University collaborating with our students at Lakeshore um, through Flipgrid. Um, SciCom is the hashtag and it's amazing to see these students improving their communication skills and our students giving feedback back to them. Um, so I learned a lot through this experience of kids teaching kids and ultimately teaching me a thing or two. Ooh. This here is another student, Muskin Verk. Uh, she's from Vancouver. She wrote the book 365 Days of Gratitude. Um, and she was uh, kind enough to Skype in with our students and we learned so much about the importance of gratitude in education and also the power of being able to connect with someone on the other side of the world that we saw in Matt's talk. Um, students teaching other students and teaching me a lot about the fact that we can empower students to be teachers. We set up a student ed camp and you can see the excitement on their face. If you've ever been to an ed camp, I'm sure you've walked away with a new idea. These are some students that have taught me a lot. Here we have some students in uh, Mississauga, Ontario, as part of the innovation project. Uh, that was just a screenshot from the Skype call, the Skype selfie, where they were sharing their innovations. Um, 515 schools across 85 countries collaborating uh, to come up with some type of innovation that would improve their community. Also, learning from students in Ghana, Africa, and is from uh, CanCam, is their, is their teacher, and just collaborating through technology and learning from kids around the world. Just wanted to share a few of these things that make it possible. And then through a student podcast, this is Evelyn. And who knew that recording a student podcast and putting it out there to the world and publishing it to the world would cause teacher to teacher to pick up on the story, would cause a teacher in North Carolina to create a graphic. This was her love of insects. She felt like an outcast. But a student podcast gave her a voice. And a school down in Atlanta, Georgia, were drawing insects on the sidewalk outside to show their support to her. So it's just amazing that technology can help uh, student voice travel so far. If you know the author, I'm sorry, uh, Jerry Pallotta from the Who Would Win series, he even autographed a book and sent it to her in the mail because he was inspired by her story. And uh, what I learned is if you actually let a student crash one of your presentations, it makes your presentation so much better. So I'd encourage you to try that someday if you ever have to have a presentation. And that was Olivia from uh, Crashing My Minecraft session at the Digit Summit in Toronto. And it goes back to the slide, never underestimate the power of a kid's voice. I think we can learn a lot from them. And we can certainly, we're here at an educational technology event. 
um, to use technology to amplify that voice. Um, this is something that we're trying as part of our superintendent's conference day this Friday. We seek as a district to amplify and empower our students to be the teachers of our teachers. So uh, we turned our staff day into a full-blown digital citizenship summit. You can see some of the sessions. We're going to have a digital carnival, a uh, digital breakout EDUs created by students, uh, students teaching about uh, wellness and tech in the teenage brain, um, an ed corps, a student-run business that they started. Um, we have uh, Flipgrid station, we have students creating their own video games, we have students wa uh, doing a junior water walkers project and coding a micro bit into a step counter. Um, just all kinds of stuff, so I don't need to read them all, but just take a chance on a kid. Uh, try to find a way to be inspired by what they have to share. If you look, you'll see it every single day. Um, and really, that these things are happening locally in our own school, they're happening globally if you let technology connect you, and they're certainly uh, happening digitally. So I guess I just wanted to say that kids can teach us. So I just want to end with that and uh, transition over to our next awesome TIFF talker.